Isaac. The goatiest goat of all goats that I've ever seen. Isaac is, well, he's not the main antagonist of Bleach, but he is the main antagonist for a, a large portion of Bleach. But his, his presence and just the way he carried himself through everything that he's done was so good. Aizen is one of my favorite characters in Bleach. And, man, uh, uh, jeez. Look, man, from, from when he got introduced to what he looked like a substitute library, substitute librarian, teacher, man, to, to after he, he got through the whole fake death thing, and then he should go arrest my man with his bankai, and he stopped it with one finger and proceeded to like that one finger folding Ichigo it was just crazy like they, right then and there that's that's when Aizen that's when the Aizen that I knew was born because that nigga is just different he he just he carries and he, he doesn't really boast he doesn't have to boast because he's Aizen bro niggas know he's about to smoke he, niggas know he's strong right throughout entirety of Soul Society, not Soul Society, but um, the Hueco Mundo arc and the Raka arc, it's just like, like, we rarely, we didn't see him until like, the end of it, but it's like, we, we know that he's a problem, and y'all know I love Bleach, right? I watch so many reaction channels to where they, like, they finished, like, after Aizen got defeated by Ichigo. And, uh, they, uh, and then they watch the full brain arc. Their speculations for the thousand year blow war are that Isaac was gonna come back and, and be the antagonist again. And it's just like he he has a he like Isaac's presence is so so fucking large, so vascular. And the fact that he can't die, people would just start guessing like, oh, he's coming back again. And he's gonna start he's just gonna start beating people's asses. Like Isaac. Like out of any, but like out of any anime villain, he, like people want to see him come back again and just fold people because they love him. They love Aizen. Everyone loves Aizen, right? Rather you like him because he's raw, or you like actually dig, dig, dig deep into his character and like how he doesn't like to be ruled over anyone. I mean, how he doesn't, yeah, how how he doesn't want anyone to rule over him, right? And that's the reason why I wanted to attack the Soul King and shit. Just Aizen is raw, all right. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I need to tell you that. Aizen, just, he uh, he gets shit done. And to be honest, if uh, Aizen, like, like if Aizen beat Ichigo and then he went to the Zero Squad, I don't think like there, the Zero Squad wasn't in the hand of Aizen. It's like because they weren't stronger than him. Because Aizen just has too many fucking hacks. He is passively just joking who gets him now. So you just gotta look at him and you're in an illusion. And even if he did die, he just come back. As we see with when Gen fucking fucking removed his chest from his body. He just he died and then he came back. But not only did he come back, he came back stronger. He's like, what the fuck can he do? It's like when Aizen, you know, got locked up got sent to jail because they couldn't kill him because he's immortal and once he come back in the uh once he came back in the um thousand year blow war he, he got stronger by sitting in the goddamn chair like how do you do that uh sorry about that cut this is literally the second half of the day for me. but uh where was i oh literally eisen's whole run in the blood war was fantastic this nigga came, <laughs> bro. That that panel where Eisen was in the chair and he was talking to you, bro. He's like, "Welcome to my soul society." I'm like, "Oh my god, no." He, he he's really just saucy. Like and like like when he uh, when he was helping he go beat uh, beat you all. It's just like, bro, who who would have thought that they, that they'd ever see? Aizen and Ichigo team up like <laughs> to fight somebody. They're like, that's insane. That's insane. 
but man, Eisen is just, he's so cold. And there's like, he has, he's very, he's a very deep, like in depth character. Because Kubo, he's very poetic with how he writes his characters. He doesn't just straight up tell you, tell you like, something about the character. It's more of a, if you pay attention and if you like figure something out, you're like, oh, Oh, and or and, and if you want to like dive deeper into a character, you'll find way more things about this character that you didn't even understand. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, that's a lot of work. I already know I just get there. Don't need. To. I'm, I'm just not gonna do the research like that. But just, just like Eisen's demeanor. We need more villains like him, right? I'm not saying that Isaac didn't have a motive, but he basically, he, like, to, to a lot of his, like, like, uh, well, casual weak fans, he didn't have a motive. And I like villains, like, villains don't need a sad backstory to be great. They just, like, it's, to me, it's not even how they introduce themselves, it's their presence. And how and like and how they hold themselves up. If you think you are the shit, then hey, I'm gonna believe it. Even if I even if I haven't seen you do at anything, right? And uh, this is the uh, this is uh now I'm not talking about Morris. Now I'm talking about black clover from black clover from Morris and black clover. I we we all thought he was raw. And that's because of the way he carried himself, but he got folded frame one. Uh is literally how you carry yourself. That's that's what makes a villain in me, right? And also, like doing, like doing something, like actually doing something. That that also makes a villain. But I didn't. He when <laughs> when the uh, when the Gote Thirteen got done with all the uh, Espada, and it was just Eisen. It was just Eisen left. We all thought that the Gote 13 was jumping to Eisen. And go was like, hey, yo, go fucking Momo. And then Eisen just chilling. And then he folds all the captains. It's just, he, like, like bro, that was, <laughs> he really just put his, he, he just put his nuts at on everybody in the Gote 13. It's just, he, he plans, he literally plans everything. Right? It's like, bro, I, people will, people call it an asshole how we got beat, but I think it makes sense. I mean, it, it does make sense. Uh, the, the whole Yoku uh, listens to whatever Eisen says, and Eisen's been a real lonely fuck, and he did like, some, like, some, some deep part of him didn't want him to pull through with the plan. That's why he lost. If Eisen, you know, just didn't care, bro. Oh my God, bro. I, I, I still think Eisen is the. Uh, now that Yuha is packed, Eisen is just, just the strongest person to reach. Uh, I, I do have like, like, if it were to be materialist, it would be like, like Eisen, Ichigo. Well, Yuha would be up there. I mean, we'll be on number one. But uh, from a live character, it'd be Eisen. And what the fuck else? But nah, this this man Isaac, he, he that's he he he's a menace. He's a menace. He, he got on he got on the he got on the black air forces and the tens at the same time. He just he truly does not care. And uh, yeah, that's the video. If you like, if you enjoyed, like, if you comment, subscribe, do all those things, and I'm uh, I'm out of here. Bye.